Social media is sort of um, interested in the marriage of actress Sharon Oja. Well, actress Sharon Oja is 33 years of age. She got married to her husband, Ugo Mwonke, a.k.a. Odogu Silencer. Odogu Silencer is a well-known Imo State business mogul now what is this story all about what is really happening they said oh sharon you are the fourth wife of this man now some of these came from a blogger and in a post she alleged that ugo wonke's marriage to sharon is his fourth marriage claiming that sharon is his fourth wife According to Stella, Ugo is in his early 50s. Hmm. She said that Ugo had been married to two melanated women and one peach color woman. What am I saying? People will say two black women and one white lady. I don't use that because I've never seen any woman white, any human being white. The third marriage which reportedly ended in 2023, produced three sons. Hmm. Now, what is the crime in a man trying again? We've not been told that all of these women are no longer alive. Well, the reason why people are talking about this is because they want to put both men and women on the same pedestal. If a woman has gone through first, second, third husband, and now settling with the fourth, they'll be like, ah, grace found her then some might say she's a bad woman oh the first one is not good the second is not good the third is not good you know what i mean so it means that women are judged differently and men are also judged differently but now it seems social media wants to put every gender on the same pedestal that there must be something about mr ugo that is a bad man Let, let us let us quickly go to what Sharon is saying. Sharon said that uh, she met Mr. Ugo and within six months, in fact, less than six months, they got married. Yes, it happens. It does. It does happen that within six months. Now, some people are saying, no, that is too short. That is too short. Within six months, why? Why is this man so much in a hurry to quickly marry you? After all, ask yourself, is that not what women want? Women want to be married. Marry me. Put a ring on it. Marry me. Put a ring on it. And this man, rather than wasting time and all of that, he believes that all that he needs to see, he has seen it within six months. He's not a new person, new man to divorce. If you, within that marriage period, decide to be, maybe, <laughs> maybe you become a turn on his flesh or he just woke up one day and he's kind of like, he's not liking you anymore. He will simply do the same. 
divorce you and move on. He has a lot of money. And, you know, women often will fall for that. He has a lot of money. Women want to be taken care of. They want to be able to buy that uh, donor hair. They want to be able to buy that gold necklace, diamond, pearl, and all of that. They want to cruise. They need someone to open their door for them. Not the man. I'm talking about personal security that open their door for them. They, they, they want to connect with the unconnectable. They want to attend high-class weddings. So they need such a man. So this guy he has gone through three. Sharon is the fourth. Getting married within six months or less than six months to some people, this is a red flag. Anyway, the event was attended by various celebrities, including Fuki Akindele, Shafi Belo, Inidi Maokoje, Nancy Semeril, Wari Piki, you know, entertainers and those um, that are colleagues of um, Sharon, they all came, everyone feeling good. But I'm going to tell you exactly what she said. My love story is one that I would say is nothing short of a miracle. I had just recovered from what I consider the worst outbreak of my life. I was filming and my sister mentioned a friend wanted to speak to me. I replied, that I wasn't in the mood to talk to anyone. Nevertheless, she gave this person my contact information and it turned out to be innovative. I wondered who this person was. We probably didn't speak as much as we would have months past and he kept trying to reach out to me. I thought this guy is persistent. We had many cute conversations and one day we talked for maybe three hours. I am not joking. It was one of those conversations where I thought, I think I like this guy. We dated for two and a half months and I was engaged in the third month and married two months after. I love it. <laughs> okay. When I traveled, I realized he hadn't called me for about two days and I asked him why he didn't call me. He said, well, it seemed like you told me you were going out to have fun i responded yes i am single then he said well i don't think i want you to be single anymore now what do you guys think of this what do you think of this now there is something that she also pointed out she said that uh, she is not a fan of a social media thing meaning she does not want to Put on social media a relationship, you know. Some people do this lovey dovey thing, just like you, Lady Che, always posting himself and Mary back then. And I've said it countless times that most men that were eventually found out that they had concubines out there, they are the types that post pictures, videos of themselves and their wives continuously. And somehow it seems women like these things. You see, women like it, but that does not stop some other woman or women out there having something to do with your husband. That's the truth of it. So, she said she's not a fan of this. She said um, what happened between Kanye West and Kim made her decide that, no, social media is too messy. I do not want my life to be this way. Mr. Nwoke said, I am truly honored to be here today to celebrate the love that is quite amazing and just unbelievable. I want to introduce to you the love of my life, Sharon Oja, who is now Sharon Oja Wonke. Sharon is, first of all, a unique and accomplished, incredible, beautiful, talented, and hardworking woman born to this beautiful parent sitting here and this beautiful queen. This man and woman gave birth to this amazing woman and did a phenomenal job raising her. So to them, I am grateful and honored that you allowed me to be a part of your family. How sweet. How sweet, isn't it? Well, we hope and pray that Mr. Uwonke or Uwoke, um, Ugo, 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 that's his name. We hope that this uh, journey of um, having issues with women comes to an end. We don't know. Maybe it's the one or it, it is a woman in his life. At times, some people have this bad luck, um, bad luck, you know, women that are not good for them. Those are the type of women that they are attracted to. Those are the type of women that come, comes their way. And at times, some people are battling with some unseen forces. And some people call it family pattern. 
they call it generational curse. Some people call it um, some other names. I'll give you one example to round up, uh, round off this one. There is a story of a man. He is from a family that they have deities, meaning certain idol, and he chose not to be part of it. He wants to be um, a Christian. He doesn't want to be part of that. Now, it has been said that that particular man is the one that will pull down the idol in that generation. Imagine generation upon generation over 700 years of worshipping these idols. So this guy has been born like Moses in that family to pull them out of that worship of deities or the deities. So this idol could not take his life out, take his life like R.I.P. him. They could not stop him to a certain extent to make money. But they, they could do something to him by getting into the women. You see, they can't do it directly to him, but they can do it indirectly to him. They can't stop money. They can't take his life. So he's rich, successful. But there is a problem. Women. At first, these women come into his life. Everything looks good and nice. Once it seems or it looks like something great is going to come out of it, the deity possesses that woman and the woman begins to act out of order. Either acting suspicious of the man. There's no way the man can make her feel better. Always trying to get the man angry. Everything will turn upside down. And what do you think will happen? Divorce. Next. It will get better. I am praying. Maybe that could be the case of Mr. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to. Maybe that could be his case. Mr. Odogu Silencer. I don't know. But what are your own thoughts? Drop your comments. See you guys in the next update.